Hey guys, welcome back to Techler by Chetan Esneria. And as you know that the developer preview of the Android P is out. But it is only for a couple of devices and to my surprise it was not for the Galaxy series this time. So that is a bit disappointing. But nevertheless I'm going to show you how to get Android P features on any Android device that you're running. So first of all you're gonna have to download a couple of things and link to all the files will be down in the description. So to start off we're gonna have the pixel launcher on our device. So it is going to make the Android P launcher but it is not going to be the same as we will not be able to get that navigation bar over there. So just download the file from over here and once you have downloaded it just click on install APK and just install this launcher over here. Once it is installed just click on done and go to the home screen and here you will have the option to select the pixel launcher just click on it and you will have the pixel launcher now and it is really great looking and I can just add my navigation bar over here so it looks great it is beautiful and as always the pixel launcher is really really beautiful so let's go ahead into the other applications now so the second thing we're gonna have is that in pixel in the Google I.O. they showed that you have a inbuilt feature now that you can just reply to the conversation using the replies that are predefined according to the context. So you're gonna get that by installing the APK over here. So it is from Google once again. It was launched a couple of months ago but the Android P has this natively. So that is great but you can download this APK from over here and just download it once again install the application open the app click on install you will have to log in with your google account over here and turn this on so you will have to allow reply to read your notifications just allow that and you can use that with facebook messenger twitter direct message and whatsapp as well so you have a lot of applications that you can use it with and you can also use your location so if a person asks when can you be home according to what mode of transport you will be taking you can reply with that so you can enable this and this looks really really great i think it will be really great to use this so you can try it out and adjust your settings accordingly so here you have the dummy message want to grab dinner i can just click on show over here or i can reply with all of these so I'm gonna go with what time and as you can see it's it is saying sending so it says it worked you said what time so this feels really great I'm gonna use this on daily basis so next thing we're gonna have is the Android P volume slider which is really great and a lot of people are going nuts over it so we're just gonna install this link to all these files once again are in the description just download this application once again and you will have to create an account on X XJ Developer site for this. So I'm just gonna log into my account. So download the APK once again, install the APK, open the application, press OK over here, give the permissions to Android P volume slider, allow this, go back, turn it on, allow permissions, once again, OK, and go down. You have to enable it everywhere. And as you can see, it will now work. So as you can see, it is now working and it is really great I feel it looks really really beautiful doesn't it so the greatest thing is when you press volume down key at the end it does not go to do not disturb it just goes to vibrate mode and if you want to go to do not disturb you have to turn it on accordingly so the next thing we're gonna have is the new Google's editing the screenshot which all the other OEMs have for a long time but the stock Android does not even support it so in Android P it is supported now and you can just download this and get in your device if you don't really have it so let's just download the APK once again download the APK install the APK click done and when you take a screenshot now you have to go in share you have to choose markup over here it is a long process but it is the only way you can get this on the devices that does not actually have that so this is made by Google and you can do all kind of things over here you can use this kind of things you can undo and you have a lot of things so that is that and the last thing that we're gonna have is the 
lockdown mode so what lockdown mode does is actually it prevents your device to be unlocked from the fingerprint and you have to enter your pin or pattern or password whatever you have inserted so let's just download the apk once again go over here install the application once again open the application grant permissions enter lockdown so when you lock down your device you will not be able to open your device with the fingerprint as you can see it is not opening i have to enter my pattern over here so you can enter the lockdown mode by going into the application once again lockdown so let's go into the lockdown mode once again and it is now in a lockdown mode the fingerprint is not working if i lock the device once again it will now work so it it only works for the time you have entered the lockdown mode so if i just go into the lockdown mode again it will not be unlocked with my fingerprint i'll have to enter my pattern over here so these are the android p features that you're gonna need and they are really amazing try it out if you want and i think some of these are really great and the reply is really really great i'm gonna use that on daily basis so guys i think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to this channel and do follow me on instagram as well this is chitanesh noria signing off